Now a close look into how remote learning has impacted student performance. More than half of 7th and 8th grade students in the Adams 14 district failed last fall during hybrid and remote learning. That's not all. A CBS4 investigation is revealing the academic toll the pandemic has taken on middle and high school kids all over the Denver area. Our investigator Katie Weiss has the data and what districts are doing to get those students back on track. I thought I had an 13-year-old Azul Pedrosa is happy to be getting C's after she struggled with failing grades last semester during remote learning. When COVID began, my grades, they were very bad. And I was like frustrated because I was trying as hard as I could to like get them back up to where they used to be. Her dad worries she isn't ready for the eighth grade. I feel like we should like restart the whole year. We lost a lot of time. Uh, where they could have learned, you know, certain things that you need to learn before you can pass on to the, the next grade. Azul is one of nearly 50,000 DPS students who either failed or got an incomplete during the pandemic. CBS4 Investigates obtained failing grades data from these six school districts in the metro area. The numbers show middle schoolers in all districts were more adversely affected by the pandemic than high schoolers. The data shows students in Adams 14, Aurora, and Cherry Creek Public Schools did far worse in the fall of 2020 compared to pre-pandemic fall 2019. Some other districts had more lenient grading policies that led to fewer failing grades. In Denver Public Schools, students had the option to receive incomplete grades instead of F grades. DPS says the policy, quote, allows us to honor the hard work many students have put into earning their grades and offered the most equitable approach for students' varying circumstances. We found during this school year, DPS handed out nearly 42,000 incompletes and only a little less than 8,000 Fs, a total of nearly 50,000 students who didn't pass. In the 2018 20 2019 school year, there were 50,000 students who received failing grades. So about the same, but with no damage to their GPAs. In Adams 14 and Aurora Public Schools, there's a different story. Those districts had some of the highest percentages of failing students during the fall of 2020. From 6th through 11th grades, 30% or more of students in each grade in Adams 14 were failing during the fall of 2020. Of the 8th graders, 69% were failing last semester compared to only 33% failing in fall 2019. And 58% of the seventh grade were failing in fall 2020 compared to only 24% in fall 2019. Makes me sad, one Adams 14 parent tells me, when there's a system that actually is blocking the natural learning process of a child, I think that we need to do something. Adams 14 says it's developing several plans to get kids back on track, including extending summer school hours and bringing in math and literacy coaches this coming fall. And looking back, do you think there's anything you would have done differently? So I do believe that our teachers in our district rose to the challenge while our, our world kind of shifted. And so they were able to take what we would normally implement over a course of five years with the technology plan and implement it within a couple of weeks. In Aurora Public Schools, nearly 47% of the seventh grade was failing last fall, compared to only 34% in fall 2019. From sixth through 12th grade, 30% or more of students in each grade were failing last semester. Our students struggled this year. Uh, we are not surprised by that. Aurora Superintendent Rico Munn. We dramatically changed how students learn and how we taught uh, and we had to recalibrate uh, how we go through that educational process and uh, that's been a difficult challenge. Do you believe that your staff, your teachers rose to that challenge however? I believe all of our staff, students, community rose to that challenge uh, and have you know, created in record time new ways of learning, new ways of teaching. Boulder Valley Schools provided all grades data showing the pandemic even had an effect on A students. There were far less A grades last semester than fall 2019. Munn says he saw that in Aurora too. All of our students missed out on opportunities for advanced learning. All of our students missed out on supports for social and emotional support. Something encouraging, data in a few districts also suggests students did better once they were in person. But some parents worry too much has been lost. My fear is that they're going to be so far behind that it's going to be a struggle for them trying to pass. I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.